Because they're hanging around with people that's going to assist them and going on a purpose. So they're growing up. We talked about this in counseling earlier, in the counseling training. Relationships are going to change. You don't want them to change. When you say you don't want them to change, that means you want to stay in college. You ain't in college no more. All the, look at all the circumstances that facilitated that relationship. Just like, you know, you grow up. I remember meeting somebody that was from the same city I was from. So I met him in college. So we talked, I was like, oh yeah, you went to that store too. Oh yeah, we used to buy now laters from there. Get out of here. Fifth Avenue, that's my favorite candy bar. Fifth, get out of here. We grew up in the same area, duh. You know how many people ate Fifth Avenues? And now laters? Pixie sticks? So now I, I'm gonna get with everybody that eat now laters and eat. <laughs> Fifth Avenue bars and pictures of this. Went to the Brantford Theater in Newark, New Jersey. It was only, after a while, it was the only theater you could go to. <laughs> Get out of, we have so much in common. You see, you see, you see, we gotta grow up past that. So a lot of times, those are, we call them fun moments, but really what they were was, they were irresponsible moments. We didn't really have no responsibilities. So you want to gravitate back to that because, hey, you know, you return to the reunion, why? You know what I'm saying? Because your life has been based on the acceptance of those core people. And then so if you're doing better, you go back and go, look what I'm doing now. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> yeah, you ain't doing nothing. You never was doing nothing, but I'm doing something now. Now, the first one we came to, I wasn't doing nothing, but now I'm doing something, I'm back, and you ain't doing nothing. We got to get past all that. Keep moving towards purpose. Remember, home is beyond where you're at. Sometimes we want to return back to familiar. But do this. Some of y'all do this now. You know when you like go on a home visits to the house? You know, you, don't, you know, moved away, went to college, or did whatever. And you know, you notice how sometimes when you go back home, you retreat it like you was when you used to live there. And then sometimes you feel like you did when you used to live there. You know, cause like, out, you know, out in your, in your job and stuff like that, everybody's like, you the man, or you know, you the, you, you the, you the girl or the woman or whatever. You know, everybody, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. I'll get that done to you, I'll have that to you right now. Then you go home and be like, um, I need you to do the dishes. Do the dishes? Do your own dishes? <laughs> Another reason we want to watch who we're around as we try to gravitate to the kingdom of God, because sometimes we're around, um, how can I put it? We're around criminals. Not, not, I'm not just talking about the people that shoot and kill, you know, but we're around thieves and liars. And what'd you say? Smooth criminals. That was good. That was good. That was good. I had to, I had to use that. <laughs> All right. So, so we're, but see, uh, criminal or counterfeit people, they're only revealed through fire. But if you don't go to the next level, you'll never expose who's really your friend. And sometimes, see, they'll pull you in the familiar because if they know a familiar, you'll still value them the way you always have, even though they're manipulating and controlling your life. But if you keep going to that next level, if they come with you, they can only go but so far. If they're, if they're authentic, they'll be with you forever. But if they're, if they're not, if they're counterfeit, you, those people are going to drop off. But they're not going to just drop off. While they're falling, they're going to grab you and hope they pull you along too. And the way, the way it goes is, oh, so you're too good for us now. Well, how come we weren't having this conversation like 10 years ago? Why am I too good now? I'm doing, I'm the same person I am. am I, oh, so I'm fine with you if I don't try to achieve anything but what you're comfortable with. So we get along great then. As long as I don't go for any gold, we good. Somebody was offended because I got a house. They had a house. So I was like, you got a house. You had a house like the last 10 years. I've been staying in an apartment. So we only gonna get along if I stay in an apartment? I can't get a house? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> but that was their thinking. Like Every time I did something, they would get bothered. I was like, so let me get this right. If, if, if I'm not achieving anything, we get along great. If I do anything successful, we don't get along, we just ain't gonna get along. Cause I gotta keep going, all right?
just that's just to encourage you to move beyond the craziness. Um, so don't become dysfunctionally dependent on your relationships. All right, don't become dis dysfunctionally dependent on relationships. Um, so you so you might be in a position where you first start to move towards the next level. You might have to stay quarantined until you're cleansed of the contamination that you've picked up from some of those bad situations. All right? Did y'all get that? Y'all with me? See, remember, uh, Jesus says, when you're converted, go strengthen your brother. So when you're cleansed of all the contamination, go strengthen them, because if you go back around them and you're not strong, you're going to become them. They're not going to grow to where you are. You're going to go back to where you were. Right? Luke 22, 31. No, Luke 22, 32, I think. One of those two verses. Um... See, fitting in wouldn't be an option if people realized they were fitting into something less than themselves. So we must, um, we must have a better image of ourselves. See, because you, you could be trying to fit in, but you could be fitting into less than your design. You can't put new wine or wine skins, is what the scripture says. I'm not telling you to go get wine skins for wine. That wasn't the point. Uh, back in the day when they would drink wine, they would put them in what they call wine skins. And so after a long period of time, the wine would ferment and produce gases, and the gases would expand the skin to maximum capacity. Okay, so when it was emptied out, some people had the bright idea to take new wine and put it in the old wine skin, but it's already expanded to capacity. So when the gases came out through fermentation, it would burst the, the bottle. That's why you can't put new wine and old wine skin. So you can't put the new life in the old one. And you can't be fitting in your life into their world. It's just not going to work. And this is, this is how you, you know, we're always in search of purpose. This is the key. That's why we need God, because God has the whole picture. And so the way you find out uh, where you should fit is this. Once you find the whole picture, and then you, you see the piece that's missing in the picture, it's easy to see where you fit. And this is, this is what they teach uh, uh, um, defensive players at Division I football. You know, that's where, actually, that's where I got that from. Because uh, so, one of the players said, what helps me, he says, I look at the whole defense, and then I look at what's missing, and I know that's where I fit. So when you spend time with God and as you're growing to develop the whole picture of God, you'll always recognize it's a, a spot you'll be drawn to. The spot that you're drawn to is you. Like, you know, there's certain things you think what bothers you bothers everybody. It's not necessarily true. What's obvious to you is not obvious to everybody. Because a lot of times you think you're normal. Anybody can see that. You're assuming that. See, you just sold, you sold yourself short making that statement. Because you figure, because if you see it, everybody has to see it. Could there be a possibility that you were fearfully and wonderfully made? You're a peculiar people? Because is, is it possible that you're the only one that sees it? Because you're the person that designed to take care of it. You know, somebody sits over there and goes, man, you know what? It would be nice if there was somebody playing a keyboard up in this piece. Oh, maybe it's you. <laughs> Man, if we just had, uh, you know, like uh, um, uh, somebody to lead the men. Good. When you're signing up. Right? A lot of times you you that person. We waiting on you. So if you're looking for it, you're, you're the person to fill it. So, so basically, if you find your place and just get in agreement, everything will be fine. Whether it's here or someone else, uh, that's where you draw great power. Remember Psalms 92, 13. They that are planted in the house of the Lord flourishes in the courts. Once you get planted in your place, you start to flourish because now you start to pull on the resources that God has designed to grow you. You take that plant, you can take it around that little pot and all the stores you want, but put it where it needs to be consistently and see what happens to that plant. 
And you look at some of the, the plants that they keep planting around in these little pots, they only grow with so far. Because they don't have enough room to, for their roots to expand. Put them in the ground, see what happens. See, the deeper the roots, the greater the fruit. So where are you rooted? That may be determining the fruit. Let's see, that went over real good. Okay. <laughs> Um, see, so if we realize that everything we do touches lives positively or negatively, uh, not just even when we're at church, now it's easy for us to assimilate to, to God's plan for our life. So it's, it's easy for us to embrace unity and, and unity winning together. Um, so, so you have to ask yourself, have I ever been on a team? Have I ever given one for the team? I was watching uh, Acts of Valor, good movie. Um, what really what stood out for me wasn't, I like action, it wasn't just the action, the stuff that they were doing. You know, somebody threw a grenade in, in the room that they was in, so one of the guys looked and jumped on top of the grenade. I said, hold on a second. I, that just took me right there. I said, now, I said, I don't know what they train y'all, but I don't know some people, most people I know probably run. <laughs> like, y'all just, hey, hopefully y'all yeah, be all right, but I'm going. But he, it was about the team. Now, some people may look at that as like, he was a fool. That's what he was. So was Jesus a fool? He gave one for the team. Oh, we walking around with, with gifting and have an opportunity to live in heaven because of what Jesus did. We take it for granted. Sometimes we, we talk to him. Sometimes we honor him. Sometimes we respect him. Sometimes we come around him. You know, when we feel like it. Remember when we were talking about uh, on Resurrection Sunday? Uh, Jesus is risen, but are we, are we, have we been risen? He gave one for the team so we actually can live an abundant life, so we can live a powerful, resurrected life. But we walking around like zombies. What's going on? Like, he gave one for the team. Have we shown value and appreciate, appreciation for his sacrifice? Have you given one for the Probably haven't. We take stuff for granted if we haven't done it. Have you worked your hardest to present somebody else from falling? You see somebody falling, do you like, whoa, 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 I can't let you deal with that. Okay, we got, we got people here, so we got a singer here, singer here, singer. Why don't I just report the people that haven't sang yet? You singer back there. I just pointed to Cynthia. <laughs> you know, so, so we got a singer right there. I right, so when people are singing, you know, everybody's in a different process of growth, whether y'all knew that or not. Just like uh, uh, Devin ministered on a Wednesday one day. Devin don't minister as much as I do. De Devin has not ministered on the clip that I have. So, so it's not going to be as, 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 as comfortable, but it'll be, still be powerful. So someone could sit and listen to Devin and go, well, I think you should have done this, that, and the other, without even talking to Devin. So, would you watch them fall? So, if I see something, i like, hey, Dev, you could do this. It could be like, nobody knows this one, but I'm going to give it to you. That's what I did with you. So, so, as you've been growing as a minister. Whatever I know, I give to you. Right? Right, without hesitation. Right? So, so my thing is, do we do that for other people? So, I mentioned the singers. So you, you, you have a bunch of singers, right? So each person sings differently. Each, some of you know things. Uh, you, you, what, what is the, uh, what is it, vocal ease? I just found out about that the other day. So it helps you with your throat. Uh, uh, we learned that from what? A singer, uh, Chauncey Cook. He was like, okay, well, if, you, if you're dealing with horse, you're dealing with your throat, here, use vocal ease. That kind of helps you out. So I know I'm supposed to buy a bunch for the singers. Haven't gotten to it yet, but. All right, so, but he was willing to help with something he knew. He didn't go, man, the, her voice is hoarse. Or you're singing on a wrong note. Do you help the person? Are you generous with everything in you? Right. Or are you watching another man fall? But you say you love people. Are you keeping it all for yourself? Or are you helping them? Are you assisting in someone else's fulfillment? With someone else's dream. 